Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we've got some Harry Potters as promised. <laughs> I can already hear the chairs scraping back from the desks and people running running for the doors. Get back to your desks and watch this video. <laughs> it's taken long enough to do. Uh, right, these are night models resin uh, Harry Potter figures um, to give them a Give them a rough idea. I'll blow a bit of dust off that. Uh, this guy's actually inclining forward. He's a 28mm War Games figure. Um, so that's roughly roughly scale wise, although he's inclined forward, as I say. Um, right. Uh, these are called Death Eaters if you don't know the Harry Potter. Films, books, well, it's books and then films. Uh, these are the bad guys. Uh, these are bad wizards and witches, and they uh, they work for a guy called Voldemort, who's the arch villain of the the piece. He's always trying to kill Harry Potter. Uh, now these were given to me by a good mate of the channel, uh, Mr. Ian Aitken or Dark Blade uh, to his Instagram followers. Uh, thanks a lot. He only gave me these, I believe it was last year, he gave them to actually for me to paint and sell on. And I did sell on the Harry Potter, Hermione the, and uh, Ron figures he gave me as well. Uh, but I held on to these. I'm glad I did because he then this year gave, managed to find me a, a box of uh, uh, the, the core rules set of, of the Harry Potter game. and. <laughs> I'm dragging my wife to the kitchen table to have a game this Christmas, so I wanted, I needed some some Death Eaters. Uh, so these are the guys. Um, now they're often more seen in a in more black. You know, the black is as we all know isn't black. You can put greens, purples, blues, whatever you want in. Um, but these guys, uh, I've just gone a bit extra on the colour because I didn't want them just to be a sea of of nondescript black so I've put some purples and bits and pieces into the the robe itself but left these slightly more I mean that would be normally more in shadow but uh, I just wanted to give that a bit more colorful look rather than just completely black I've gone with the metallics on these they've not been varnished yet and uh, that will bring them down very slightly and I've just put some inks and whatever and paint washes over different to uh, the different types of face masks these are all uh, silver and gold face masks that they wear um, to disguise themselves. Now they're actually mounted, bring Ian's name into it again, they're actually mounted on normal Harry Potter bases which are, are plastic underneath with, with uh, cobblestones but they, the way the slotter bases work you always end up with a slot showing that it's not very it's not a good way of you, you, you even green stuffing them and putting them over they don't always come out so well so I followed uh, roughly what Ian had done and I've got some wool, uh, wool filler you know the, the pre-made stuff and just skimmed it over uh, when it was dry uh, put the score marks in none of them are level um, but the only things I did differently to Ian was I don't know if mine was going off slightly but it's a happy accident it's actually given me some nice rough texture in places so I, he scored his putting cracks in well I didn't have to bother with mine and I did mix a bit I was a bit worried about it going off so I mixed a bit of PVA in there as well with it uh, this isn't one of the better ones it's a bit uh, <laughs> Ian had said don't score them while they're wet uh, and I did think this had dried out and it turned out it wasn't so that the score marks are a bit deep in places but uh, that's the idea anyway and then you just use a hand vi pin vise and drill your holes in it does mean that they do float slightly as you can see there's a bit of white PVA um, not PVA uh, uh, super glue marks there but you don't see it when you're looking down uh, so I'm happy with that we have another guy here obviously his colour is green and again I've put it into the into the cloak this time having it more like a greeny black rather than just a, a black uh, same with the boots so he's literally all in all in green these ones are quite fragile so you always have to be careful with them 
this is the lady. I have got another lady figure um, which I'd already half done, which I wasn't happy about, so I'm going to re repaint that one. Uh, as usual with all these, the they're not brilliant for um, casting. The the sculpts themselves, the, the actual look of them, are fantastic, but the 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 way they cast them isn't, in my opinion, not always the greatest, and they take a lot of clean up and very hard hard to reach place clean up as well. Now I I got that camera, it's total rubbish. <laughs> what do you expect Gav for £17? So I'm actually using my video camera that I'm, that I'm filming on now, uh, which I did spend a whole £100 on about four years ago. Uh, that's, uh, that can take photographs as well and to be honest with you the photographs aren't too bad so I have got some photographs of these at the end. Now this guy here is Vincent Crabb Yes, I know to the guys in the UK, he looks like Peter Kay uh, from Phoenix Knights. Uh, anybody outside the UK put Phoenix Knights TV series in. Uh, it was a two series uh, comedy uh, about a bunch of misfits running a, uh, a working man's drinking club. And he does look like Peter Kay. <laughs> Although in the in the Phoenix Club, he's actually got a he's made it up to the gold and he's got a wig on and all the rest of it. But yeah, we all in the UK, everyone will know Peter Kay. Uh, I really liked how he came out, and I got this second hand. Uh, I was quite quite pleased with that, uh, and it hadn't been put together, so uh, it wasn't too bad. I have got I don't know if it was up in the photographs. I've uh, put different uh, inks on again, not inks. Um, different uh, glazes into the face just to try and bring it out. I thought with this one you could tell too much, although they were trying to make him look chubby, which they've done a great job around the waist and everything, his, his cheeks are just too like jet, flat jowls really, uh, almost like they've stu you know, stuck them on on the side, um, which is a bit uh, I didn't particularly like. Uh, in the box art they've gone for a, a more brighter green but this is more to me like more a bit more like the film green I've added a bit of uh, uh, ice in the same colour as his house uh, his school house is, is Slytherin and that's their school that's their colours for their house so yeah that's uh, that's our uh, no, he's one of the bad guys. I don't know if I've said. Like, if you don't, I might say this to the guys that, are, that haven't never. I know there's a fair few that have never watched a Harry Potter film in their lives. Right, these are on the go at the moment. I bought this uh, troll. He appears in the first film. Uh, he uh, he demolishes a girl's toilet. <laughs> uh, I bought this second hand. I used it was super glued, but they'd left all the mold lines on and everything, not being painted though. So I used the old. Uh, I use this, um, and I, I've got it mainly originally for P, PE on the models. But uh, I found as long as these, I don't know how long this has been put together, but I, I just put it round. It's brilliant. Uh, if you've got, if you have got uh, super glue stuff and you've never used debonded before, it's about a five or a bottle. It lasts a fair while. Um, now, this, as you can see, I've got to fill all this in yet. Uh, that, again, that they're, they're not brilliant molded. And this had a heck of a lot of mould lines, and I can understand why the person gave up or didn't start it. Um, so, oh, I think that's just a bit of free floating stuff there. But yeah, um, he's coming on soon. Start filling him in the next couple of days. But yeah, I picked him up for a reason. I've been buying Harry Potters. I, mostly, I buy them secondhand if I can, uh, depending on the condition. And uh, I got him for a reasonable price secondhand. And I've got these two now. The uh, school, uh, the guy here, he's one of the bullies, and this is his uh, his mate. So that's uh, Vincent Crabbe, and this is uh, Gregory Goyle, and he's they're both Draco Malfoy, which is Harry Potter's school bully enemy type of thing. Uh, Draco Malfoy is the his two henchmen. Again, he was a second hand buy. Uh, Whereas the other one of the troll had been made up, this guy hadn't been. And this is Draco Malfoy's mum, who, in a way, you could say, although she's supposed to be one of the bad guys, she actually helped kill Voldemort in the end because she told him that Harry Potter was dead when he asked her to go investigate his body. And uh, once Harry had told her that uh, 
that her son was a prisoner and he was okay, she uh, she told Voldemort he was he was dead, and uh, we all know what happened there if you're a Potter fan. So yeah, this is Nar uh, Narcissa, and that's Bellatrix Lestrange's sister as well. And again, filling to be done on there. Had a right game for the glue holding the, the arms on on that one for some reason. And then last but no means least, another second hand buy. Uh, this was in the box uh, second hand, uh, but again it was an absolute pig to fill and, and try and get halfway decent, which I still haven't done. I've put some uh, some some black and grey and white in there just to do some, but because this is going to be white I didn't want to go too heavy on the black. You can see the join there, but they have done it so that there's supposed to be muscle, you know, like he's turning away there, but I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to have another go. And there's this here, which is all part of the moulding, that's not me. Um, I'm going to have to have another go on that, because looks, that looks naff. So that's going to have to have a lot of work done on it again, which I'm not too happy about, especially sanding resin. Uh, but yeah, there's our unicorn. And that's going. Um, that's going to a friend's daughter as a present. Hope she doesn't see it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, that's me, Harry Potter's. Uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Again, thanks to Ian Aitken for for giving me those uh, Death Eater figures. And uh, and if you go and see his tutorials, if you want to know how to make these, he's got a lot of tutorials like that, how tos. Go and check over his channel. Um, but uh, yeah I was going to do darker ones I tried doing the Ministry of Magic green and black green but the time it was taking me to to try and uh, paint the green in and the black and get it you know getting it right it just it just I just didn't have the time to do it uh, and I actually now prefer these sandstone ones because it does make a darker figure uh, stand out more and any other lighter colour figures, I think it'll just work just as well. So, thanks a lot, guys. That's <laughs> that was just going to be a four or five minute video. We're now looking at 12 minutes. Nice one. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, thanks for indulging me on the Harry Potters. Uh, there'll be soon to come up. We've got a Tiger Tank video coming up. I've only just um, be painting the Land Rover this weekend. I've uh, I, I put it off because I, I suddenly decided I wanted a one of those circle templates I'd seen the guys use, and that came to me the other day. Everything fits perfectly. The Chevy, uh, the Chevy alloy rims and that fit in it brilliantly. So you know that's for once I've done the Land Rover, the Tiger tank doesn't have apart from tracks and that that the actual body doesn't have that much more to go on it. Uh, so it'll be back on the Chevy. Because I want the Chevy done and dusted and get learn, you know, try and have a go at doing the painting on that. Uh, well, actually, sticking it together first might help, but uh, yeah, the Chevy Chevy's going to be along next after that, and then it's really uh, lucky dip, <laughs> lucky dip, and get into the stash pile and uh, and pull something out. So look after yourselves, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. I do appreciate uh, all your kind words and comments, and you, we will see each other. I should say on a video fairly soon. Cheers.